feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Streetwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck? What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, uh, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag, a depraved, ruthless villain, and a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. I detect a certain resemblance here. Yes, it looks a lot like an owl, doesn't it? Re-elect Governor Carla. She's hard on softness. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh, no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are, exactly? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like, famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a personal passion of mine. I really want to find it. Your weird fetishes are not something I need to hear about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Could 
you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship? You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> if you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. <laughs> no, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> 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 Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. I like the old pirate leaders better. Elaine? Guybrush! Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? A little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! I was hoping you'd turn up in this story. I was hoping you'd turn up in mine. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. No, silly. I came on a charter, just like you. Yeah, I figured that, but it never hurts to ask. I'm finding it harder than I thought to get hold of a ship and a crew for my expedition. The new local leadership was less than supportive. Why don't you ask around at the docks? I'm sure you can find something. Thanks, I'll try that. Uh, sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. You've probably got to get going. You say goodbye first. Bye. Bye. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Porto Bello. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. You mean... Fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late even when you are fated to arrive. It's a gift. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again.
When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. Now you must go. I have a luncheon, and your destiny lies at the docks. It does? Most assuredly. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. It seems to be stuck closed. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. A visitor! <laughs> Wait, Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid! And Stan! Otis, old pal! You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic! You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Possibly, though it was kind of tricky last time, and I didn't get much out of it in the end. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors? Imagine that. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. I notice you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Eh? Picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Guybrush, you gotta get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Oh, sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Oh, that's terrible. Believe me, I feel worse about it than you do. Could you refer me to a competitor? Stab me in the heart. You'd go to a competitor? Where's your loyalty, son? 
Well, seeing as you're in jail and have no ships and can't help me, I thought... It doesn't matter anyway. There's no competition. I drove them all out of business long ago. Nobody can play the angles like old Stan. I didn't really anticipate a situation like this one coming up. Any tips on how to steal a ship from someone else? One word, son. Mutiny. Get yourself on board a worthy vessel, gain the confidence of the crew, wait for the right moment, and strike. If you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. Could I get a ship from you after you're out of jail? Don't count on it, son. I expect to be released any time, but I haven't even got anything on back order. It pains me to lose a sail, but if you need to get off this island, you're gonna have to find another way. Okay, well, thanks, I guess. Anything I can do to help you, let me know. As long as it doesn't involve selling you a ship. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. See you later. Yep. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Hi there, newcomer. Hi there. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge? is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes they did, yes it was, and they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. That seems enormously useful. 
Maybe. Depends on if you can close them again. How would you like to join a pirate crew? Would I have to leave my shop? Well, yes, that's the general idea. The crew actually get on the ship and, you know, crew it. Thanks. I'll pass. Try down at the docks. There's always somebody hiring somebody down there. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. Threefwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Peachy. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. She's good. No pieces missing. Kids yet? Whoa, easy there, Tiger. I'm still in my juvenile phase myself. That's what Elaine says anyway. Well, tell her I say hello. Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Why do you even let them in the bar? Well, they've driven off my old regulars, so I don't have a lot of choice if I want to stay in business. Also, if I tried to get them to leave, they'd probably cut me up and throw me in the soup. Frankly, I'm terrified of them. On the plus side, they have more disposable income and better hygiene than the old crowd. Did I mention I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island? No, I don't think you did. Well, that's exciting. So you'll be hiring a ship at the docks? I'm thinking I'll steal one. As far as I know, the only ship out there is the Chucks. Even better. Two birds with one stone. Bold. I like your thinking. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Will do. Looks like a mugshot. Stay away from that picture. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Well, it's definitely a mop. Will you advance me the down payment on a ship if I help you clean up? Put that down before you hurt yourself. What? Clearly there's a lot you don't know about mops. Honestly, I think I prefer to keep it that way. <laughs> Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin' dark magic. Look at us! We're so much better than you because we don't bring grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Loom button? My grog-riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, 
and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out in Byloom today. Yes. Now get lost. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Don't sound much like pirating to me. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Ha! <laughs> It'll turn out to be a t-shirt or something. How clever. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? Short of swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. I'd make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. Okay, maybe eight. Don't waste my time, okay? Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Smith. John Smith. Uh-huh. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry, can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were gonna get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew, ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. 
If damaged, the product should not be used. The product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Wally? Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again too, Wally, whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and I'm running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the Secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. Well, I was hoping the more might include mops. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. Bye. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Ooh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. LeChuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done. Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed. Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for LeChuck? I've had enough of you questioning my orders! 
finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. Watch your boots in here. I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Hi there. Hi. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. How's your day going? Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. If one monocle is good, two is better. What was that you were trying to tell me about mops before? The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree a tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is because this is your own personal journey. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. Wally. 
looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. Bye. Carla. Guy brush three wood. Hello, sword master. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. Anything but your cooking. <laughs> Low hanging fruit. But it works. It's nice to see you again. You too. You should never have given up being Swordmaster. Who says I did? Oh, sorry, I just assumed. Governor seems like a full time job. It is. But there's room for overlap if you're creative about it. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? Eileen can handle it. She doesn't need me. I don't doubt that. But it isn't about what she does or doesn't need. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. It's a lot of work being governor. I like your stuff, I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I admire that you are hard on softness, as shown by your actions at Portobello. Please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. This is for you. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog, for when words aren't enough. Dear Carla, I'm impressed, Guybrush. Surprisingly thoughtful, considering it's you. 
I'm strangely moved to forgive you for losing my book, and I'll treasure this frog as a memento of the time you did something right. Can I borrow this cookbook? You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. That is a really big parrot. I wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on though, and nothing happened. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. Wow, it's worse than I imagined. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. It says, Tans previously owned vessels. So sad. Stans used to be the best place to buy used chips. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? It's a dried up old sea sponge. from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. I found some cracker mix. You could bake fresh crackers in your furnace. Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take some if you want. Don't mind if I do.
What do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. Well, it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? Look at this eye patch. Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. Good, great. So, can you charge it up again? I can. If. If. If you bring me one more thing. A particular charm of great power. You must bring me the bite of a thousand needles. Then I will recharge your eye patch. The bite of a thousand needles. Can you be a tiny bit more specific? No. All right, let's see what I can do. Pointy little tricky a fight. There you go. Bite of a thousand needles. Tell me. Is this an ancient, powerful charm, or simply a plant you found in the forest? You were pretty opaque about what you wanted, even for you. I took my best shot. Very well. You've always been the close enough sort. Thanks. Spirits of deception and death, drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Yeah! What the heck? I look like a zombie! Is it broken? One does the best one can with the materials provided. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. Hi. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I, I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Yeah, but I'm not... It had ingredients in it or something. I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I don't work here. 
I'm not a waiter. Hop to it! Uh, right away, sir. Oh, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? I'll see what I can find out. Thanks. I found this at the governor's mansion. Aha! Uh -huh. The mystery dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm. This well, will be excellent. It's definitely a mop. Never complaining. Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Here it is. Thanks, Wally. Little prick the kids. Wow! The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. I think I'm ready to set sail. I'll take a shortcut back.
And I better take off his voodoo eye patch first. Hey, watch it! How do you like my mop? It's custom built. Let's see, stick, tangle up boat line. It smells like seagull droppings. Eh, good enough. I happen to need a swabby. You interested? Definitely. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. <laughs> 